Hey, Virgo Sun, this is what we got going on for the month of April 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it, sweetie. Coming with the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Two of Cups. It looks like this person, the ones that you guys might be dealing with, could be potentially a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys around the lunar eclipse, it looks like it's going to be affecting you guys quite a bit. Uh, but it's saying that it's it's going to come, like, people are going to see the lies for exactly what it is. With the moon card to the two of wands, ten of swords, five of pentacles, you guys might be coming out of some sort of shelter or in a shelter or just possibly have been homeless at one point in your life. But realistically speaking, you guys are also need to take better care of yourselves with the five of pentacles, ten, two, and the moon card. So during the lunar eclipse is what I'm picking up on with the moon card. It looks like this person's going to be coming back towards you guys to help you guys up, to support you, to to do something for you guys. Could be a baby father, baby mother situation, but it looks like you want to just take your kids and just kind of like heat for the hills at this point. Just kind of like get the healing that you guys simply need with the six of swords, nine of swords. You guys feel like this person doesn't really ever take any action on your behalf. They just simply do things to benefit them with the King of Cups. So it looks like you guys are going to be meeting up with them. I am a little bit worried that this person actually does hire a private investigator on you guys to keep tabs on you, to watch you. Maybe this person does everything they can to provide, to provide for you guys. So that way you guys are still underneath their underneath them. Like they have for like full control and power. But they are coming in as somebody who is very arrogant, somebody who lives a, they're very much so a lavish lifestyle an extravagant type of lifestyle maybe this person sells home maybe they're a real estate whatever the case is they just do something to the point where they have enough money in their life that they could obviously provide for you but they only provide you the bare minimum and you guys look like you guys are trying to hide from this person escape from this person so i don't know what's going on but at the end, all i know is that you guys are just trying to make a move and get the fuck out of there six of swords two of cups you guys look like you guys are gonna end up meeting up with this person to see what they got going on maybe to help you out with finances or a car or whatever the case is but i do also believe that this person has the ability that they're going to be sitting down talking to a private investigator on you page of swords sun card five of swords six of pentacles they're going to pay them and the five of swords very selfish very manipulative energy they think that they're going to be able to it doesn't listen let me explain something to you guys real quickly just because somebody hires a private investigator it doesn't mean that you can't outrun the private investigator the fuck you talking about you can always outrun a pi the fuck you mean uh-uh virgos are virgos are the fucking pis at the end of the day so if you're gonna go and get a fucking p a higher pi on a virgo i would honestly tell you good fucking luck good luck good luck you might find them one two three times but that second and third time, Virgos are fucking jumping up on that shit and they're going to know exactly what the hell's going on. And then they're going to make their move and then they make their move and then you're gone. Like, what, what are you going to do about it then? Anyways, uh, Virgos, they're not going to be able to get away with this with the Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles. They have, they also, they also owe the private investigator company money too. But anyway, they're going to try and come in. So when they realize that they hired a private investigator to get one on you, they're realizing now, shit, Virgo's actually a fucking hermit. They can come and go as they fucking ple please, and no PI is ever going to be able to catch them. <laughs> yeah, maybe the PIs only work a nine-to-five shift, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you guys be fucking grinding and doing your thing. I don't know. At the end of the day, it's a hermit. You guys are fucking moving in and out. You guys are coming and going as you please. Now this person who's very successful, King of Pentacles, they're very much so stressed out. They're stressed out. They don't know what to do. But I think more so in the long run, you guys get the six of wands. You guys get the, like, you guys are, like, victorious. You guys win. Like, you defeat everything that this person really tried to do onto you guys, right? I'm going to read this energy in a couple of ways for you guys first. <clears throat> And then, <laughs> and it's pretty much coming to a complete ending. Uh, because this person was very manipulative and they're abusing their power and doing the most, maybe this person is sending you guys text messages constantly over and over and over and over and over, and they're abusing their power. It's almost like harassment, but I don't believe that you guys are able to book this person as, as if it is harassment as of yet. You would have to, would, we would have to consider harassment to be like, okay, they're messaging you all day, all night. The next day, all day, all night. Let's just say you guys have this person messaging you all day, all night for seven days straight in a row. That's harassment. Boom. You guys can handle that, right? 
So it's causing you guys stress, fear, paranoia. You guys are feeling trapped by this whole entire situation. You simply just want to bring an end to it. And you feel like you can't even defend yourself with the Justice card, Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Wands energy. It's like Spirit is bringing you guys in a wand so you can defend yourself because it looks like you guys are getting really tired from always having to fight for yourselves. It, jurisdiction, you know, it's the law here. So maybe this person keeps taking you guys to court. Maybe this person is trying to get custody. Six of Pentacles, uh, Five of Swords, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're coming after you over and over and over again. This has been coming into the readings a lot quite for the... I don't even know, honestly. you guys, It's just been coming in the readings a lot where this fucking guy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they keep uh, trying to harass you through the court, harass you through the jurisdiction and child support, trying to get custody, trying to fucking do tabs on you, trying to fucking PI on you. Anyway, it's not going to work out. I do believe it could potentially end up putting somebody here in, in jail. They said prison because they're going to do something fucked up. And I also see immigration being involved. And I also see uh, deportation also being involved coming into the future. <sighs> this could be a, for anybody at this point. Like the fact that you're getting deported, like what did you do? <laughs> Oh my God, because the only thing I can think of you being deported is if you did something that's fucking uh, federal, like not even provincial. Like, you did something fucked up. That's federal. That means like you went. That's 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 pen shit. You know what I mean? That's like five years and more. And then after that, government said, "All right, no, we don't want you in our country. You gotta go. You gotta go back to where you came from." You know. Anyway, that's none of my business. I'm just going to read the spread. I wish everybody love no matter what direction you go in life. All right. So, uh, Virgo Sun, <clears throat> you feel like the jurisdiction is just a really fucked up. Uh, so, so, you guys are looking at the jurisdiction like, yo, how come the jurisdiction is so fucked up? Like, how come the judges are so fucked up? How come everything is so, how come they're not able to see that this person continuously is harassing you? through the system and how come it is not nobody who's doing nothing about it it's like this is fucked up shit five of swords tower card nine of wands just be careful with your vehicle here too that you guys are not uh i don't know you guys are not getting like a flat tire or you guys something happens to you and you guys have to get stopped on the road and a tow truck afterwards have to come pick you up you know it's, it's saying everything will be fine with the page of pentacles sun card and the two of swords but then it's like how are you gonna figure out how to get your car fixed it's, you'll be fine you'll get your car fixed don't worry about it but then here, it's like, I see deportation, I see the pen, I see prison here. I also see uh, somebody did very something very much so bad. I also see that somebody is hiring a hitman. Yeah, if you do this, I want you to know that you're going to get all the way fucked up. Something about insurance fraud? Ooh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'm seeing also in here insurance fraud. I'm also seeing in here, if you think that you're going to be able to get away with the insurance fraud and saying, sorry, no, it's not going to work out. Seven of Swords, you are going to get caught for it. It's also saying that you guys could be putting yourselves in a position of like literally going into fed, fed federal, meaning you're going, going straight to prison. And then also after that, deportation. So immigration will obviously get involved, especially if you are not a permanent resident. Um, and then it's also saying here, <sighs> um, so you know what, realistically, this is also, uh, this looks like an insurance fraud scam too, that's coming in for somebody here. Somebody here is doing an insurance fraud scam and you guys have the investigators coming in to watch you to see if you're actually not feeling well or whatever fraud it is that you guys are trying to pull with the insurance. You guys will have, you guys also have, you guys have the company stalking you and watching you already to see if you good and they're saying, yo, you're moving just fine. And then they're going to find out you got fucked up and whatever the case is and you're going to get all the way fucked up. Mm -mm. Oh God. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh god because they're saying that you're trying to get paid out six of pentacles five of swords that's not the right way to do things you can't just sit there and you know I, I, i'm not going to sit here and tell you what you want to do and what you don't it's none of my business just know that if you do it you're going to get not good results from it 
I would recommend that you think twice about it. If you can already, if you can get yourself out of it, it would be like the right thing for you to do. But I do definitely see jail time coming in for you in the future. I, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh my goodness. Um, so, uh, <laughs> anyway, oh man. I got Bodmans watching my fucking channel. <laughs> nine of Cups. I got Nine of Cups, the Emperor, the World card, and the Six of Cups in reverse. It looks like you may have tried to do this stuff before, but it's not like going in your way. Like you may, you may, I believe that before you may have done it before and you got the things before and you got it done. But this time around, it's not going to work out because it's saying that you're doing it too many times that it's going to end up getting you. <laughs> Yo, just because you do something one, two, three times, it doesn't mean you go do it 10, 11, 12, 6 times. Be, like, grateful. Be like, okay, you know, you did your thing. You didn't get caught because I see you getting caught and you're going to get fucked up for it. It's not good. I'm telling you, yo, stop it. Stop now. If you can stop now, stop now. Don't, don't do it. Take heed, yo. Fucking just, you, I don't even think, they said you can't even cancel it. Uh, um, anyways, coming into the future... You guys gotta stop doing this. Stop, stop doing this shit. Stop doing it, all right? Star card, Queen of Cups, uh, the Three of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Lover card. You guys are obviously heartbroken over this situation. Very alienated, very upset, very hurt. I do believe that if you guys are fucking around with an Aquarius, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, this person should not be in your energy at all. You should not be working with this person either. They're not somebody that you can trust. They will hurt you and they will deceive you. They're also trying to take something from you with the Star card to the Lover's card. I do believe there could be somebody here who's in your energy who might be trying to steal your man or steal your girl mr steal your girl <laughs> yo someone's trying to steal someone's gal dumb yo yo you guys gotta sort that out and you guys are just going to be very, very mindful with the four of swords to the nine of pentacles. Like, you know, I think realistically, you guys are just going to take time for yourselves, retreat, go into hermit, focus on yourselves, do, picking out your outfits, doing what things, what you guys want to do. All right. I'm going to read this energy in a different way. <laughs> you, guys so, you guys are so fucking jokes. Okay. You know, I don't judge anybody. <laughs> But if I see you guys are doing some fuck shit and I can tell you guys, yo, take heed, yo, fucking run for the hills, do what you guys need to do, like abort mission, I'm telling you, I'm going to definitely warn you guys to take abort mission, okay? <laughs> I don't want to see you guys in this situation. I don't, I don't. No matter what, I don't want to see you guys in that situation at all whatsoever. So in the end, uh, you guys have to just do what's best for you guys and you know, it is what it is. All right, so here, you guys may have, you guys might be feeling a lot of illusions at the moment with the moon card, two of wands, the ten of swords, and the five of pentacles. You just feel absolutely left out and, and, and abandoned and hurt by the whole situation here. You fear that you're not going to be able to get better or feel better with the five of pentacles to the, to the moon card. I am picking up a lot of eclipse energy here, so maybe this energy can be coming in around the, around the month, April 20th, so at the end of the month. Uh, you guys got a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person wants to come towards you guys. It looks like you guys are going to be meeting up with this person, and they're going to be talking to you. But you guys feel like whatever they're saying to you is they're like, like they're not talking the truth to you. They're only telling you what you want to hear. So when you guys meet up with them, they are going to be talking to you, right? So they're only telling you what you, I'm picking up a lot of white lies. They're not telling you the truth. They're only telling you what you want to hear again. A lot of what you want to hear. Six of Pentacles as well. Uh, they're not going to. So this person here with the six of, six of Pentacles to the five of swords. They're not going to tell you that they might be fucking around with somebody else. They're not going to tell you that they are a liar, that they're still a cheater. They're not going to show you that side of them. They're not going to show you that they're fucking mediocre over here with the three of pentacles. They're not going to tell you that all that shit. What they're going to tell you is, yes, I still love you. I still care about you. I still want to be with you. Yes, you know, this is what they're going to tell you. But in the end, you're like looking at this person with the hermit to the knight of cups. So you're like seeing her as them. Like, who are you really? Like, you're only showing me one part of you. So you guys are able to pick up on it because you've been here before and you guys carry a lot of wisdom. And realistically, you know, this person could have a lot of money, so they are able to get pretty much anything that they want out as well. <sighs> also, Virgos, I do believe that some of you guys may have been homeless and you guys are trying to meet up with maybe a worker or something like this to find a home or to find another shelter or to simply move and make a, and make a move as well. It looks like you guys might need to get to get help, to get the help that you need from the government, Six of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. It may not last a long time, so you might have to get moving and get to where it is that you guys need to be. Also, Virgos, I am seeing that there's a lot of magic that's going to be happening in on the month of April as well with the Magician card, Eight of Swords. 
be careful, uh, Virgos, that if anybody is going to be trying to cause you stress, confusion, whatever the case is, it's going to be a wrap for them. Your enemies, if they continuously abuse their power, they're going to end up suffering with a mental illness and it's all going to be falling back on them. They're not going to get anything that they want. They're going to be receiving their karma. They're no longer going to be able to defend themselves at all whatsoever. They wouldn't even know how to defend themselves. You guys are the ace of wands. That creativity is coming back in for you guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is going to end up falling in depression and horrifying situations, you know. Uh, and I think it's more so due to money as well. They don't have any more money left. It's like the end of be all for them because they feel like everything that they did onto you, you're getting the other side of it, meaning that well, this is you guys, you Virgo Sun, you don't know what's really going on. All you know is that you're feeling a lot more better and you're getting better and everything is working out. But this Aries Leo Sagittarius is getting fucked up, falling into depression, sadness, everything is going bad for them. What's a what's a what's a Tesla? Knight of Wands, Tower in reverse, five of cups. Something about someone's Tesla. Tesla's here. All right, this is the emperor in reverse. Uh, they're trying to do everything they can to hold down what they've created for themselves, but they are very narcissistic and very abusive. And this is coming into the near future. They're very ungrateful and very unhumble. Is that a word? They are not humble at all. Six of cups in reverse here as well. And this person may have tried to take from you, steal from you at the same time, star energy, which makes you guys very upset and very hurt. I do believe that you guys were really hurt by the situation, by the fact that these people were able to be two-faced to you guys, mediocres, and really coming after your love life and after you like you guys are just simply really beautiful and a lot of people can't handle the fact that you're gorgeous like this and it really comes down to that ugly bitches who are sitting there fucking doing work on you because you're fucking beautiful it really shows how ugly they fucking are in the end you 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 sitting there bothering somebody because you are hate because you're you're mad because you look fucked up and then you want to sit there and hurt someone's beauty and hurt someone's fucking love life because you got you don't got no love life and you got no fucking beauty fuck out of here with this shit yo you're gonna get so fucking murdered for that for what you did especially if you work with aesthetics with the nine of pentacles oh bitch the fuck you mean you're sitting there hurting people's beauty but you fucking working in a fucking what but what is this nine of you beauty salon this is what i'm seeing bitch fuck out of here fuck out of here so that's how, that's that's the type of woman or whoever the fuck you are are that's that's who you are that's who you are you're sitting there trying to uplift women but then at the same time you're taking your fucking clients and you're trying to turn them ugly fuck out of here stupid bitch you're fucking two-faced you're rude you're fucking disrespectful you're fucking disrespectful you're a fucking horrible person you should not be in this type of fucking career yo virgos when you go to places when you want to go get your fucking nails done or get your beauty done make sure you guys can trust the people you have fucking touching you i'm telling you right now make sure that you're trusting people who's fucking touching you don't let fucking strangers touch you don't let them fucking touch you I don't give a fuck what it is. It could be massage, hair, fucking makeup, fucking nails. I don't give a fuck what it is. This world's fucking fucked up. Catch yourself the wrong fucking person who's going to be touching your fucking hands. And they can be fucking evil eyeing you the whole entire time. Well, why is this one so much more prettier? Oh, I could have, sh I should have did my nails like that. Oh, but I have to sit here on this side and do their nails. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. I'm telling you, Virgos. Yo, don't think that this shit only works in this tarot stuff. There's this st shit happening all around the fucking world. Don't think, don't ever be deceived by anybody. Don't ever fucking be deceived by anybody. Judgment card is here and you guys are not happy about it. You guys are calling judgment on it. You guys are pissed off. Also, there's a King of Gemini. There's an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's going through so much pain, so much losses, so much burden, stress chaos they thought that they were going to end up being put in a position of inheritance or even success but none of the success that they had in going for them is going to be permanent it will end up falling apart because the things that they invested in is and the things that they were doing the things that they were investing in was not something that they should have been investing in judgment cards being called on the seven of pentacles and aries leo sagittarius for the work that they were doing with the eight of pentacles uh vengeance is here archangel michael is here and this person's very well aware of it nine of wands so realistically speaking virgos you know uh the divine, the angels, God, Archangel Michael are coming in here and they're also going to fight your battles for you because they know that this King of Wands put you guys through a lot of shit and you guys are much more powerful now than ever before. 
Yeah, much more powerful now. You guys also are going to be walking away from an Aries Leo Sagittarius and you're going to be going out and start hanging out with your friends and partying and drinking and doing your thing. You guys feel like the person that you guys were hanging out with, this Aries Leo Sagittarius a Capricorn, you guys feel like this person was nothing but trying to keep you codependent, trying to control you, trying to press you, trying to keep you fucked up. It looks like mentally you're checking out and then physically you're also checking out. Mentally, you're already there. You're already gone. Emotionally, you're already gone. It's now having just to check your body. Like your body, you're, you're checking out physically now. You see me? And you're going to start hanging out with other people that are going to be better for you guys in the long run. Um, also, Virgos, you guys have an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's been thinking a lot about you. This person has been trying, is going to try and come back and work on the relationship with you guys. And they're going to come in very, very fast to speak with you guys as well. But a lot of you guys have been through so much stuff within the last nine years that I don't believe you guys are going to want nothing to do with this person anyway. And then you guys feel like this person is nothing but trying to keep you pressed or whatever. You guys are ready to live your best life and do your thing. You guys know also that if you guys were to go back to this toxic relationship, it would not be beneficial for you guys in the long run. You will absolutely fall off that cliff if you guys go back to somebody who's trying to control you and keep you pressed you guys know that marriage is on the way for you guys but it looks like some of you guys don't want to settle down yet you guys are planning on getting married eventually in the future you guys do have somebody in mind to get married to but before you actually go on and get married you guys want to live your life play off fucking fuck around drink party and then once you have like eaten enough of that like you got full off of that it looks like you guys are ready to go and get married uh hierophant and that is going to be coming back in for you guys. So this looks like somebody that you guys were fucking around with in the past. And you guys may have split up between you and this person. You took in a different direction. But you ended up in a, in a, in a toxic relationship. And while you and the person that you were meant to be with have been in separation... They ended up in a toxic situation. Now they're leaving. Now they're checking out of that relationship and they're going to go hang out, party, drink until they want to come back towards you guys. Realistically, I don't know if you guys are still waiting on this person or if you guys even give a shit about this person anymore. That's the only difference. They think that you guys are probably still waiting for them, but it's going to come back around during Mercury retrograde with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands and the Strength card. You guys are stronger than ever at this point now, right? But there is going to be a reunion after a long time. So I do expect the message coming in from this person. A reunion is coming in. This is a blessing that was sent from the from the divine. There you go. And this was a place where this person was actually supposed to be separated from you guys so that way they can become enlightened. They had to pray more, become more enlightened, really understand divination, really understand why people come together and why God puts people together, right? Seven of Cups. And this is the fucking truth. Uh, Seven of Cups, the high priest is this, the, the ace of So you guys are, there's like a decision here. So you guys look like you guys are going to have to make a decision on whether or not you're going to want to be re reuniting with this person with the Seven of Cups, high priestess, ace of swords. And realistically, your intuition is so on point that it's fleeking at the moment. With the ace of cups, it's literally being poured upon you guys. You guys have also abundance, uh, happiness, success, prosperity, uh, whatever else. It's all going to be coming pouring back. Also, your intuition is going to be ascending on a spiritual level, meaning that your, your enlightenment, your divination, being connected to the prophecy with the hangman is also going to continue to ascend as well meaning all your prayers that you guys have been doing which is, is, the, is the right thing for you guys to do because anybody who's a high priestess anybody who's been the high priestesses they all worked in fucking religious temples does not anybody know that all high priestesses all high priests worked in religious temples in a past life yes in the past life they worked in religious temples they all know they know God, the gods, the goddesses, they understand all that stuff because this is back in the day when and way before anything. They worked in the temple God, they worked in the goddesses, the temples, they worked in those religious, they sorry, they worked in the religious uh, temples. They worked in those areas. Yes. <clears throat> anyway, you guys, uh, Virgo sons, it looks like you guys are seeing the truth for exactly what it is. Uh, just be careful from enemies. Be careful from people. Pe be, don't be deceived by things that are not good for you, okay? Like, your intuition is on point. God and the angels are going to continue to guide you. Queen of Pentacles, you know, they want you to still be patient. Somebody here still has a little bit of work they have to do. Maybe this is on their business, on finances, whatever. It's saying wealth is going to be yours no matter what. You're going to be successful no matter what. Wealth and generational wealth is your success. It's your birthright to be that. So there's no reason for you to be sitting there feeling sad for over anything because God and the angels are going to bless you no matter what. Temperance God, they've they seen you doing the work. 
too, the, the temp, they seen you doing the work. You guys are now finally, finally pouring into yourselves because you guys have given so much people your time and your energy that you got nothing back from nobody. A lot of people take advantage of you guys. So now it's time for you guys to pour back into yourselves and watch how all these blessings are going to come for you guys. There you go. Ten of Pentacles. That's all money. And that's the, the angels are working behind the scene to bring that shit towards you guys because you deserve it. A lot of people were sitting there in competition with you. A Gemini Libra Aquarius who's rude and hateful as well. Uh, she's in a lot of competition with you. The, she looks like she's going to be at huge losses her, herself. She's not going to be able to do anything about it. And she has to walk away. She, You cannot fight an empress. An empress like, knows exactly how to handle the position. You know, you're not going to get an empress out of her energy and, and to, to stoop down to some fuck shit. So realistically, you guys are absolutely protected. You guys are going to continue to move on and level yourselves up spiritually uh, and be the be the royal queen and the empress that you genuinely are. I do believe you guys were, were royalty. You have royalty bloodline in your in your in yourself. Like I, this is also saying that there might there could potentially this is just random, but there could be potentially this female here and that sitting in a castle who's going to be speaking up and saying something about the fighting and they're hold they're trying to fight, make peace, not war. But you know people are going to do what they want to do anyway. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, it looks great to me. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, money's on the way, Virgo's son. Yay. Go, Virgos. Go, Virgos. Go. Go, Virgos. Go, Virgos. Go.